Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. is about to become the biggest talent you've ever seen. From amazing skills to insane goals Jr. set to become an even bigger star this year, and it's all thanks to his dad. This one needs no introduction man. Jr.'s dad Cristiano Ronaldo is the biggest athlete in the world. At 38 Ronaldo's been at the top of the game for over 17 years. The guy scored over 800 career goals won over 34 trophies, more than 117 international goals, and is still going. Ronaldo is the biggest reason why Junior's now gone pro man, because his kid looks up to him every single day. Since Junior was born it's been very clear that the kids always wanted to play football there's no hiding it. At first, Ronaldo had Junior sign up for the Real Madrid Academy, and the kid became so good. He turned into a first-team regular, before moving to Juve with his dad in 2019 after impressing the entire world in a youth team competition in Portugal. Scoring 25 goals in 8 games, Junior put the whole world on red alert. But his summer move in 2021 changed everything. On the last day of the transfer window in 2021 Ronaldo shocked the world by confirming a sensational return to Manchester United. More than 12 years after his first spell at the club, and for Junior this was his big chance in the spotlight too. Junior got signed to the United Academy, and the attention of the entire world was now focused on him. See at United Junior was now playing with stars like Kai Rooney and Philip Mattis, and he was expected to become a sensation at the club. Immediately, Junior hit the ground running in his first game against Sabats. He scored a brace, and even hit that iconic celebration to top it off. Game after game, Junior continued to impress, and it was clear he wasn't just about the hype or riding on his dad's name. Junior was clearly talented. So now he was making waves in the game and people genuinely believed. It would only be a matter of time before he'd come into the spotlight on his own, but at the end of 2022, he was on the move again. His dad Ronaldo fell out with the club and just before the start of the World Cup Ronaldo dropped that shattering interview at United and made them terminate his contract ASAP. Yes, I feel betrayed and I felt that some people that don't want me here, not only this year, but last year too. But it's Ronaldo, man. There's no way he was going to stay without a club for long, and in the end, Ronaldo secured a staggering move to Al Nasr. That was going to see him earning a whopping $200 million a year. And that wasn't even the best part, because for Junior himself, this move was going to change his career. Coming into Saudi, this was a new environment for Junior. All his life he played at some of the best academies in the world. I'm talking Real Madrid, Juventus, and Manchester United. But now this was a whole different ball game. The Saudi Pro League was in its developmental stage, and they were trying to attract the best players and talent in the world. Not just pro ballers but young players too. So having Ronaldo's son in the league was going to be a huge boost for them. But not quite at the start because just like he's done all his life Ronaldo was looking out for Junior once again. And pretty soon he realized he'd need to adapt first so he sent him somewhere else. In Asia at the time the best academy on the continent was the King Ma'ad Academy. It was specifically designed to attract the best young talent in the world. And Ronaldo had Junior shipped there for the first six months on arrival. See Ronaldo wanted Junior to develop himself even further and learn life as a pro, just like he had been teaching him years back. Ronaldo's dedicated to Junior's cause man, they've been training ever since Junior could walk. In fact, it's so crazy that Ronaldo admitted that sometimes. He has Junior take ice baths with him, at 8 years old man, dude if I tried that at 22 I'd freeze over. During Covid, while dudes like me were binge-watching on TV shows all day Ronaldo and Junior were putting in the hard yards, in training. Coming into the Mard Academy, Junior soon realized this place was the spot. Because they wanted to attract the best talent in the world, they had coaches like Roberto Mancini come in to give the players advice. And training, on how to get to the top. And at the end of his training Junior had now turned into a beast, this time he was ready for the top even Ronaldo knew. So after he finished at the Mard Academy, Junior got promoted to the Al Nasser under-13 team. And on his debut for the new club, Junior became an instant hit. Bagged a brace on his debut and never looked back. Just like all his previous academy, the coaches saw Junior's talent. That made him stand out, straight up. He became a first-team regular and even got assigned to taking penalties and free kicks for the team. Junior became so good that after a couple of months at the under-13 level, they promoted him two levels up to the under-15 level, and the best part was that the Saudi Pro League was about to get an epic combo of two Ronaldos. Cristiano Ronaldo was tearing it up for the senior team, scoring goals, hat-tricks, and bagging man-of-the-match performances every week, and now Junior was about to do the same thing at the youth levels. See when Junior signed for his new club, part of his deal in his pre-contract, 
was that he was going to get the number 7 jersey just like his dad. And I guess this one must have been very special to him, because he knew now that he was a few steps away from achieving his biggest dream. My son tells me, Dad, stay a few more years, don't retire yet, I want to play with you. Yep, it's always been Junior's biggest goal to play alongside his dad and try to become as good as he is or even better. Back at the United Academy, when he first signed I bet Junior would have wanted the number 7 jersey like he'd done at previous clubs. But the only reason he couldn't get it yet was because Ronaldo's deal back to United was on the last day. And by the time Junior arrived, most of the academy numbers had already been taken up. So he chose the number 24 instead and tried to make it a hit by turning up with insane performances for his age every week. Can't lie it felt weird watching Ronaldo without the number 7, so seeing Junior decide to take it up just feels so good man. Imagine Ronaldo and Junior in the same team one day, it'll blow my mind. These two are very close and when he's got the chance Ronaldo always makes sure to attend Junior's games, to give him pro advice and help him improve areas he knows he can do better on. The ultimate dad and son combo. Damn, I wish me and my old man were that close. The only good decisions the two of us have ever made was hitting that subscribe button to Football Lover. Week by week Junior was getting even better. In fact, he becomes so good that he was already creating his own fan base. Whenever he had games, fans were turning up with banners of Junior to come watch. And after training sessions, he was getting swamped with autograph requests. I knew he was good, but in the match against Ulkadzire in October last year, Junior entered beast mode. Coming into this one the rivalry was heated and the build-up all week had been intense. Once again Junior was one of the big names on display, and the youth coaches had hoped for him to carry the team and deliver a stunning performance in this one, and he didn't disappoint. They won 6-0 and Junior played a starring role. Right after this performance, Junior's popularity rose even further, and his YouTube comps and match day skills became a trending hashtag. It was clear now that Junior was going to be the future. There were even rumors of top European clubs becoming interested in him, and some analysts were even discussing him getting into the international scene for Portugal. But soon Junior's world was about to come crashing down, when he suffered his first, major heartbreak, as a pro. This injury shocked the whole world. That picture of Junior on crutches was blowing up everywhere, and no one was more worried than Ronaldo. See being at the top for that long Ronaldo had seen it all man including the injuries too, on the biggest stage. Seeing his son go down like that must have reminded him of that night in Paris years back. Junior was six when Portugal made it to the Euro 2016 final against France, and in the stands to watch his dad play in the final. But minutes into this one the moment that Ronaldo's family feared the most happened. Ronaldo got injured and had to miss out. Remembering all of this Ronaldo knew he couldn't let Junior treat this as a normal injury so immediately he got him a leg brace and crutches to try and hide the injury. But it only made it worse because Junior's fan base wanted to know what had happened. At first, the rumors were that he twisted his ankle, and some even believed he torn his leg ligaments, but it remained unclear just how long Junior was going to be out for. All this uncertainty must have been hard for him too because this was the first major injury of his career, and he was trying to get used to dealing with it, but his dad's Ronaldo man, and he's been through stuff like these many times in his career. So he made sure he took him off all that media pressure and back home together with the team doctors and club physios. Junior began his road to recovery, and weeks later he was back on the grass ready to play. And yeah even better too. See all that time he'd spent injured made him hit the gym more, and by the time he returned Junior began looking physically ripped. The kid looks like he could take me out just by tapping me on the shoulder man. I don't know how but somehow Junior's injury made him become even more popular. Because right after this he started grabbing a lot of celebrity attention. On social media there have been many clips of Junior hanging out with guys like Iran Ferreira. That dude who became famous for his celebrations right after bagging goals on TikTok. And shouting Rebecca, but even cooler his fans with the YouTube goat. I show speed. Ronaldo Jr. and Speed's link up is brazy. Speed so close to Junior now, that at Junior's birthday party last year, Speed got a special invite but was unable to attend. So instead, he sent him a special gift as a birthday present. Even more recently Junior's been making appearances at the Al Nassar Stadium. So anytime his dad's got matches and celebrities turn up to the arena, he's on hand to link up. But back to the football now and Junior is even better than he was years back. So much so now, that there's a debate about his international future. See Junior was born in June 2010 in the United States, to a secret mom, whom Ronaldo has refused to tell anyone about. According to Ronaldo, the reason he doesn't want anyone to find out yet, is because he doesn't want the media to pressure him. So the only person he tell is Junior. And that's when he feels the kid is ready. 
a few years after he was born, Junior was sent to go live with his grandma in Portugal, but pretty soon Ronaldo sent for him to come over and had him stay in Spain and grow. Junior spent over five years in Spain, and because of that he qualifies as a citizen, but I'm sure the United States and Spain would most likely be secondary options, because in the end, Junior's only ever known one country Portugal, with his dad being from Portugal, Junior automatically qualifies, and seeing as he's always want to take after his dad and even play like him, it's easy to see why his top pick in the coming years could be Portugal, but I won't rule out an international career with the United States just yet. Because imagine a link-up with guys like Christian Pulisic and Timothy Weyer alongside Junior. Seems like a tempting idea, or maybe even choosing Spain, and playing with guys like Pedri, Lamine Yamal, or even Inaki Williams, and forming the core of the next Spanish team that'll dominate for years. Whatever happens, Junior is set for a big year in 2024, and that's because he's got some major competitions coming up too. Junior is going to be playing a big role in helping his youth team push for the league title in their division. And not just that, but now the youth teams are all also allowed to play in the Asian Champion League. He'd be looking to move up in the age grade and participate in that competition as well. To be fair Junior already looks like he's a pro man. A couple of days back he went out with his dad to go see the hottest show in the country and had all eyes on him. Real Madrid was facing Barcelona in the Spanish Super Cup final and due to commercial reasons. It was being played in Al Nassar Stadium in Saudi. Junior went to go see the match with his dad and they were the Ronaldo. So of course, when they arrived they made a grand entrance. But you see guys, Junior's entrance with his dad wasn't what caused the heads to turn in his direction alone. He came with someone else, that had cameras all desperate and trying to take photos. Junior pulled up to the Super Cup final with a mystery woman, and from the way they were acting all cozy and stuff, I don't think they were just meeting for the first time, they probably have known each other ever since, and could even be dating. Yeah, see guys, Junior has a secret relationship, He's been hiding from his dad for months because he knows if Ronaldo finds out, it's over, 